tell me about um, your friendship. It, being geographically close, I mean, you've got neighbor, neighboring constituencies. Does that mean that you have to get along, basically? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, we have so much in common, you know, our physical constituencies, like you said, they border each other. We've got a road that goes literally from one to the other. We have to deal with East Kent hospitals and lots of our constituents either work or live in one another's constituencies. So, you know, we have to work together in Kent, really. Craig, uh, is that how you first met? Did you have to work together over something that was sort of on, on a, a border issue between constituencies? When do you remember first meeting Rosie? Well, I, I think I remember meeting Rosie within sort of days of her being elected. I must say it was a little bit of a surprise in Canterbury at the time in 2017. <laughs> I bet it was. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, poor old Julian Brazier, who, who funnily enough, during that election had been over helping me because it was deemed that I might be under some threat. Uh, but um, we should have all been over helping Julian, but never mind. Uh, no, I met Rosie, I think it was in the, the members sort of, where we dump our bags and uh, and stuff and she yeah. uh, came up to me and said yeah I'm newly elected and she had a smile on her face and I think it was reasonable to say that you know we, we've got on well ever since but we have a lot of common constituency issues as, as Rosie has said because you know a lot of MPs work isn't just uh, baying at each other across the you know the green benches half of the job is constituency stuff and that is helping our constituents and no matter you know no matter I, I don't care what people vote on that basis i'm here to help and i'm sure rosie helps conservative voters in canterbury just as i help labor voters in my constituency with things that are, are troubling them and we have a lot of commonality certainly on health issues and and she said the the a257 the common road that goes from sandwich right the way through to canterbury so yeah lots of things that are are just your your you know, you're you run of the mill, down to earth, constituency issues. You know, we have commonality. And I think, you know, she, Rosie always has a smile on her face to me. Uh, and I'd like to think I have a smile on her face to her. And, and I know Rosie has been through the mill uh, of late with various Labour colleagues. And uh, I'm, I'm here to help and support her in any way that I can. Rosie, did you feel a little bit um, sort of... <sighs> I don't want to say abandoned, but you're one of one Labour MP out of 17 Kent MPs. The rest are all Conservatives. So all your neighbouring constituencies are, are Conservative MPs. Was yeah. that an issue when you first took over? Yeah, it was terrifying. I mean, I didn't know <laughs> how they would treat me, you know. And at first, I think they didn't know how to treat me, to be honest. It was a little bit of kind of, can they trust me? Can I trust them? But we have got to know each other. And like Craig says, you know, I mean, him and I, we famously don't agree really on anything politically, like Brexit and immigration and all those kind of big Kent issues. But we do agree in the way that we have to respect each other and get on and work together. And I'd be extremely lonely indeed if I didn't speak to any of my Tory neighbours. You know, we have to get on and they've been very courteous and respectful and included me in things. We, we go to NHS meetings together and things like that. So it is really important. Yeah. Now, Craig mentioned there that some of the issues that you have been, well, very public about uh, in uh, your own party and the way that your own party, the Labour Party, uh, has behaved. Uh, you were unable to attend Labour's uh, annual conference uh, last year. You, were made, you said you were made to feel unwelcome. Now, you've also spoken about the idea that perhaps uh, it's tempting to go somewhere else where you don't have to battle uh, a faction of your own membership. Have you spoken yes. about that with Craig? Because, of course, Craig famously uh, also was a, was a member of the UKIP party, then switched to the Conservatives, and he won South Sanit. Is this something that you two have discussed? I mean, yeah, to be honest, it's the sort of thing that you do discuss with your friends in the House because, you know, as well-meaning as other people outside of that place are, it's, it's an impossible thing, position to understand and a job to understand if you're not there and if you don't do it. And you, we all do have these existential crises every now and again. What do I do? Do I stay? Do I jump? You know, and it's I've just been going through that lately because we do have these battles in the Labour Party where there are people that that stood against Craig and things that absolutely detest me. And they're in my party, you know, and it it is very difficult sometimes to think, you know, shall I kind of carry on when when factions of my party are just plotting to try and get rid of me? And, you know, you have to think what you're doing this job for and 
and just sort of battle on and battle on. But sometimes it does get a bit too much and it is a bit exhausting. Yeah. So, so could you see yourself joining the Conservative Party? I think, I mean, I've got lots of friends over there and they've been absolutely charming and lovely to me and very supportive and I think it is genuine you know everyone's going don't trust the Tories but you know we're all just human beings and we don't like seeing each other upset and I don't think I could square my stand on Brexit and immigration with the current Tory way of thinking but you know it would be nice to not have to battle a tiny faction in my party so you know those are things that we do think about all the time all of us I think yeah. Would you leave Labour even if you weren't going to join the Tories? Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. It depends on whether things don't get a lot better or, or do start to improve. I think they have started to improve. But when you've been battling the same sort of faction for, the, for many years, you do sometimes think to yourself, you know, how much longer? <laughs> you know, I, I know Keir is trying to improve things and trying to kind of clean up the party in that way. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Um, in that way, but um, I don't know at the moment, I have to be honest. Craig, would you welcome someone like Rosie and the Conservatives? Well, even, well, even though you disagree on so many things, as, as Rosie mentioned, I mean, you're not going to agree on Brexit, on your stance on immigration, that's not going to happen. But would, would you welcome someone like Rosie and the Conservative Party? Well, I, I have lots of disagreements between uh, Conservative MPs. Don't think they don't happen on, on those very <laughs> same issues. Um, political parties are broad churches. They generally are. They have to be. You know, I don't agree 100% with everything that my own government is doing, and I don't agree with uh, quite a number of my colleagues about their stance on things. But I think the difference is between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party is that we, we keep our broad church you know, fairly... Um, happy as far as it can be. We don't have public space. I always like to avoid sort of blue on blue arguments. Uh, so when I'm asked on the media and there is you know, somebody from a, a different type of viewpoint in the Conservative Party, I will tend to stay away from those because I don't think it does anybody any good. But the Labour Party, I think uniquely, again, a broad church, but it's a very, very wide broad church of very, very hard left, the momentum crowd and all the rest of it. And uh, what, what you might call the, you know, the more traditional um, working class Labour Party who, who doesn't see a victim under every, uh, every rock. And uh, it, 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 they have their rows internally and very vocally externally. And I think Rosie said very clearly there that some of the crowd that are involved in East Kent, obviously in Canterbury and in my seat, are really of that, um, of, of that momentum crowd that can be quite bitter, quite nasty and quite wearing. Obviously, yeah. I don't have to put up with them, but uh, Rosie does. So, okay. yeah, broad churches are in all parties, but I think our broad church and the Conservative Party is still friendly with each other. Well, uh, uh, Craig, I, I, I'd love to think that that is true. But one has to just uh, watch uh, PMQs and look at some of the questions that former Prime Minister Theresa May is putting to, jo Tory, uh, to Boris Johnson uh, to think otherwise, that blue on blue action can be quite brutal. But Rosie, <laughs> I, I was in the midst of asking you a question, which, which I'd love to, to hear your answer. I just wanted to find out how you felt that on Friday, uh, uh, the article went out in The Telegraph where you expressed your concerns about the Labour Party and you also uh, used the words that you said it's tempting to go somewhere where you don't have to battle your own tiny fraction of your own membership. Have you, and you said you have not been in touch with uh, Sir Keir Starmer. How do you feel that one of his MPs has said that they're thinking of leaving the party and the leader hasn't picked up the phone to communicate? We have talked in the past, um, but, you know, it, it is a bit disappointing that just from a human point of view, you know, he, he hasn't perhaps had the time to, to do that. And to be honest, you know, it does make you question whether anyone really cares. And, you know, I, nobody would do an interview like I did the other day lightly. I'm not being a diva. I'm not a snowflake. I'm literally just saying, shall I stay in the party? Do I, do I get any kind of help with these issues or not really because I'm not someone who's been in the party since the age of kind of 12 or 13 I don't really know how these things work I don't know all the staff who run Keir's office I don't know the sort of insider networks or anything and I am sort of on my own like we've said in Kent and I just would like a bit more kind of help and support you know I, I came in um, unexpectedly and you know it has been tough it's been you know 
a difficult few years. So. Okay.